Welcome to the video. This project shows one way to make and decorate faux miniature beeswax honeycomb candles using paper lollipop sticks, plastic tubing, tool netting, and glow fiber optic strands, and paint. In this video, I make beeswax honeycomb pillar sets with flower ring, candle tapers on candlesticks, and two candle warmer styles. To make handcrafted pillar tea lights and warmers, see my previous videos for more details. Materials are listed in the description box below. Gather candles for the pillar set and taper candlesticks, either purchased or handmade. You'll need three pillars in one quarter, one half, and five eighth inches, either thick or thin or a combination in diameter. You'll need two plastic tubing pieces, a half inch each. The pillars are made from paper lollipop sticks and the plastic tubing comes from a water faucet balloon filler. For the beeswax honeycomb look, cut a piece of tool netting slightly longer than the candle pieces. Place the tube candles on a toothpick, glue a vertical strip, place the tool netting edge on the glue, let that dry. Place the paper pillar candle on a pin and repeat by gluing vertical strips of glue, place a tool edge on glue and let that dry. Next, lightly glue around the candle pieces, wrap the tool netting around until the seams meet. When dry, trim the excess pieces. Now glue the candle tops. Press the tool netting pieces onto the glue. When dry, trim the top excess pieces. Place the candles back on pins or toothpicks. Now you can paint the candles. I use one half yellow to one half white acrylic mixture. When dry, slide a fiber optic strand through the centers. Cut fiber at the base and glue that. Then angle cut a flame tip on top for each candle. Assemble items for the three piece pillar set with the flower ring. You could purchase pre-cut flowers or punch them from punches, or use bits from laser cut cards, or hand cut them. Select and punch a transparent or clear material for the 5 8 inch base circle. That's so the optic fibers will have light access. I'm using a parchment-like vellum. Cut three inches of kite string color green. Select mini foam balls 1 16th of an inch in diameter, four clusters of four, and three to four single ball sets. Paint light green or light pink. Select, punch or cut 12 1 8 inch diameter white flower shapes. Color a dot of pink or yellow in the center. Curl gently with stylus on the foam mat. Select, punch or cut 12 to 14 1 8 inch mini green star shapes for the leaves. Also, gently curl with stylus. You can use coffee paper or cardstock for the flower and the leaves. Glue kite string around the circle base. Then glue foam ball clusters on four sides of the circle. Next, glue leaves in between the foam ball clusters. Add a few single foam ball pieces in between the leaves. Then glue flowers around. Add the three pillar candles to the center. You could add a laser cut doily under the pillar candle set Adjust so the light shines up with a pin. I purchased a Stuart Dollhouse Creation Doily Antique Laser number 57. For the taper candle holders, you could purchase a transparent Chris and Bond candlestick available in amber, a rosy pink, clear, and green. The opaque white and slate blue will not transmit the LED lights. You could also make your own candlestick with beads and markers. I have made an amber, brown, gray, and green candlesticks with permanent markers. I use two flat diamond shaped beads, one large seed bead, one thin bugle bead, and one four by seven millimeter pony bead, all in clear. And then I colored it with the permanent markers. Glue the beads together. Add a drop of super glue in between beads if needed. Then glue the candle on top of your candlestick holder. 
to make the beeswax honeycomb candle warmer. From two six by nine millimeter pony beads, one transparent and one solid, color the clear bead light brown, or you could leave it clear. Then glue the two pony beads together. Glue a vertical strip, press the tool netting on the edge. When dry, glue the rest of the beads and roll the tool around to the seam. Trim the excess. To decorate the candle warmer with bee stickers, I have modified a dragonfly by removing the tail, second wings, and trimming the first wings. Then I glued it to the tool netting. You could also modify a lowercase t or an x into a B shape, or cut your own. There's more sticker details in the description box below. To make the lantern top candle warmer with one 6x9 millimeter pony bead, Cut half inch piece of clear straw. Color the pony bead light brown. Glue a silver quarter inch circle sticker to the top of the light brown pony bead. Glue straw on top of the silver sticker. Add a candle, a thin pillar one. Glue a smaller silver sticker on top of the straw lantern top, approximately 3 16 in diameter. I used a 1 8 punch to create a whole circle in a sticker. The final step is to do a light check for the beeswax honeycomb candles. I hope you like and share this video project. Thank you so much for watching.